Hey guys, and welcome back to Crow Country. When we last left off, uh, we had just finally found ourselves a silver key, which means, well, we've got some options here, haven't we? So, let's start by getting rid of this ugly son of a bitch. Now, uh, at the time of recording the last episode, I hadn't actually... <laughs> finished the game but now I have and uh, well <laughs> all I can say is wow I yeah I enjoyed it um, I've got all the achievements for this game now we've completely maxed it all out got all the best um, rankings and all that good stuff there's only one thing left for me to do uh, and that isn't a spoiler. When you complete the game, you unlock a Crystal Crow challenge thing, which I'm not even 100% sure what it does. From what I can understand, if uh, I play through the game again, with all of my unlocked goodies, there are some Crystal uh, Crows that I can shoot uh, and find, kind of like uh, generic Resident Evil, or should I say modern Resident Evil collectibles. So I will be doing that at some point. Anyway, let's keep going shall we let's get rid of these guys because these guys are going to be a massive pain in our ass all right let's go back we've got the silver key now which is good so we're going to use that silver key and we are going to we've we gone the wrong way we have gone the wrong way we're going to unlock the car that's next to ours and hopefully there's going to be some nice goodies. I have tried the harder difficulty mode of this game as well. And uh, yeah, it's um, it's way harder. I'm already getting lost. Yeah, this... Okay. I always get lost in this main area. Uh, I can never remember which way to go. But we're going to go back down this way. Yeah, it's much, much harder. You know, uh, in this version of the game, there is an unlimited supply of ammunition in the back of our car. Yeah, in <laughs> in the uh, hard version of the game, there is no ammo in the car. There's one... Ooh, are these the crystal crows? Ah, so I can get these now. So even though we've loaded an old game, they've, they've spawned in. That's interesting. Okay, whatever. Yeah, only one packet of ammo in the car, which is not fantastic, as I'm sure, ow, you can understand. Right, we're going to have to take the hit there. Now, if we go to here, we use our silver key, we can find ourselves to Natalie. Happy 17th dad and it's a new pair of boots running shoes now we can swap these on to our uh, you know between these and our new one uh, old ones and these well as the yeah we don't want those ones back on as the description kind of uh, explains they are running shoes they allow us to run really really fast so happy with that We've got plenty of bullets here, so let's use them. I mean, I, we're not really going to be coming back here anytime soon. But, might as well clear out the enemies as and where we can. Now, these suckers, you've got to kind of get them to pop their heads up. So, we do actually eventually find out what's going on, and we find out what all these weird creatures are. And the story is, well... It's a little bit more than just your generic nonsense, and I can appreciate that. Okay, so let's get some more bullets. Yeah, I was quite surprised when I first started playing uh, the hard mode, and I went back to pick up some more ammo, and there is no more ammo to pick up. It's like, ah, okay. Now, you've got to be careful of these. Can't remember if I mentioned in the last episode, but these will explode. Yes. These off-color pickups. We want to be very careful with those. Okay. This place looks relatively quiet. But we can. Did we collect in the last... Yep, we did. So. 
Let's access this. Access denied. Well, no matter. We have a disc for that. So. We need to change and move some things around. Um, and I did write this down because this was a little bit of an ass. So, what have we got here? Okay. So, engine needs to be B. Um, first car needs to be D. Second car to A. And caboose car to C. Now, I just fiddled with that for a while. Uh, it wasn't the hardest thing in the world. And there's a small flamethrower here. Now, this flamethrower is uh, extremely powerful. Uh, you you are limited with the amount of fuel you have, unfortunately. So, you know, you do have to be a little bit careful of that. But, as I said, very, very, very powerful. Uh, and it's going to get a lot better in a second anyway. Well, maybe a lot better is a bit of an exaggeration, but it's going to get better. So, next place of cool is the gift shop. We can't go through the front door, but having the silver key, we can now go in here. All right. And we have some nasty nice... We have a horrible gas trap, which is gonna really ruin your day. There's also another nasty in here somewhere. Alright, good enough. I'm sure. Yep. Yeah. I actually thought there was more traps in here. Maybe there are, we just haven't seen them. Definitely more gribbly, yeah, puddles of whatever the hell that is. Puddles of viscera, I guess. Come on, my friend. Come and uh, experience sweet, sweet justice. The hands of Mara. There we go. I think we've got him. Yeah, sweet. All right, now carefully does it. There is some more flamer fuel here. We shall take it. And whilst we're here, let's load that up. I'm not sure, like, how much flamer fuel this thing can actually hold. Uh, I think it's a respectable amount. So, anyway, here we are. We're in the gift shop. And we only have two bullets left, but that's fine. In here, there is a large med kit, which we can take, so we will. I can't remember if there's any other goodies. This game is incredibly dark. When I play this on my ally, it's nowhere near as dark as this. Uh, I just assumed this is the way the game is supposed to be, but I don't know. So let's grab the shotgun shells because they are always going to be useful. And a handwritten letter. Gifts for Natalie. Haunted Hilltop Stuffed Toy. Classic Crow Country Rubber Doll. And the Fairy Tale Action uh, Town Action Figure. Thanks. Let me know the total. I'll pay you back. Now, before we worry about that, if we have a little look in the refrigerator, there's something inside. It's a mushroom. I'm a little mushroom boy. I'll use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish. Tell me, what is it that you wish? Uh, what's that? You want to improve the capacity of your shotgun? To each their own, I guess. Um, sure. Let's get the wish. Wish granted. So now, uh, we can hold four shells in the shotgun instead of two. And to be honest with you, like, <sighs> there isn't a lot in this game that two shotgun shells can't put to bed. But to have the extra capacity, I mean, sure, why not? The shotgun is a really fun weapon. Oh, and there goes the door, because of course it does. And we're back. So, right, cash register. So, as this note says, um, there is a, a little boy, or I guess for Natalie, actually, which could actually be Mr. Crow's daughter. Um, we need to find the total of three 
toys. There's actually quite a few toys here, so it takes a while to examine every single different one and work out the totals. But, you know, as I've already completed the game, I've already done that. So, we need two. Let me just scroll my notes here. So, we need to actually uh, scroll to 1975. And that is the total. And, whoa, that's a big gun. And we get the 44 Magnum. Yeah, this thing's... It, it's... Ammunition for it is... I think every single pack of ammo for that gun is a secret. It is a horrendously powerful weapon. And... I mean, we only really use it once and that's going to be right at the end of the game. Um, but... It's not even... It's not even really that required, to be honest. But whatever. Anyway... It's nice to have, let's just say that. Right, let's go back to the car. Let's get some more bullets. And then... Uh, we can continue our journey. So... I may have to put a quick pause. Because this is the part of the game where we can get every secret apart from one of them. So I need to just have a quick look. Now, I don't know why we can swap these running shoes off. You can put the old boots back on. I don't know why. I don't know if they make her slightly stronger. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. But there doesn't seem to be any point in actually taking these off. So, now let's have a little look. So the toilet, there's still something in there that we can't do. We can now go to the haunted hilltop. Yes. Let's go there, shall we? Seems like a reasonable place to investigate. Let's keep our wits about us. Because it does look like enemies have respawned. Because of course they have. Come on, you ugly, slimy motherfucker. Stop hiding behind. There we go. There you go. You want some more? Lovely. Now, I will say, remember where the game informed us that the further the enemies are away, the less damage they will take. I have seen no evidence of this. I'm not... I, I don't know whether it's um, kind of hinting at maybe the shotgun range or what. But from what I can tell, whatever you shoot is just it's gonna die regardless in X amount of shots. Ooh. Didn't see that. Right, nice. But because we needed the bullets, luckily. Okay, we're still fine. Because we needed the bullets, it actually gave us ammo. I think that's just how they work. Pretty much. Anyway, let's get inside. Uh, we got some griblies. We really don't want to be tangling with that thing, to be honest. Yeah, they explode in rather nasty form, to be honest. But that's fine. And... Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> I need to do something about the darkness in this game. My god. Uh, you know, I didn't realize how dark this game was until I started playing it on my ally. And my ally is so much brighter. Um, yeah, alright. <laughs> One second, guys. Now, I've just noticed that there is indeed a thingity what's it there. Which is interesting. There's another door. I guess that's going to open when we get all of those birds. What I might do, I might save that to the very end. And then I'll make some kind of montage of me going around and shooting all of those. Because um, I still haven't done that yet. Right, anyway. <laughs> meet you back in a minute. One thing that I did forget to show off was this as well. Uh, it's a rack of nameplates. Aline, Elena, Emily, none. Typical. <laughs> so relatable. Okay. Right. Now we're back to where we should be, more or less. Let's go take this dickhead out. 
These spiky guys really do know how to ruin your day with their exploding nonsense. Okay. I can't quite see the shadow of where that is going to drop. There we go. Nice. Let's go see if we can't get some more cheeky handgun bullets. Because, you know. Let's make these vending machines work for us. Hey! So, that's interesting. It does seem to be, if you're running low, these things always give you handgun bullets. Um, that's something that I never realized, but it's certainly good to know. Anyway, let's start opening some of these doors, shall we? So, I forget the rub here. Right, got it. So, each of these has a... Yep, yeah, the Wolf 1810. So, all of these have uh, their own little date codes, which is useful. So, we can use that information... Um, oh, no, it's more than that. Hang on, I'm just glancing at my notes. No, 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 that isn't the code. Right, let's use the disc. This one's quite interesting. So, for instance, if we want to open the mermaid, how many legs does a mermaid have? Well, she has none, but she has two arms. Uh, she has one head. And uh, she will have two eyes. Being a humanoid that she is. Anyway, if we go in here, I think this is the only one that you actually have to go into. So we grab the antidote. And the label says it's for storing acid. We need acid. So we're going to be grabbing that. Now, we may as well peruse the other rooms whilst we're here. So the wolf has four legs. Uh, he has zero arms because he's a, he's a wolf. He has one... Uh, those and he has two eyes so that will allow us into the wolf's cage and there are some shotgun shells there we shall take them we must actually be pretty close to the max amount yeah 16 and 4 so you can only hold 20 shotgun shells which is interesting considering how few handgun bullets you can hold in this game but anyway I didn't make the rules so Cyclops has two legs Two arms, one head, god damn it, one eye. So let's go check out the Cyclops, see what he has inside. He's got a med kit and some shotgun shells, which is unfortunate because we can't pick up any more shotgun shells and we can't pick up any of that either. Son of a bitch. But we can get the uh, handgun bullets from the serpent um so that's zero legs zero arms one head two eyes now let's have a little gander in here got some hanger bullets which are always a welcome addition ah oh, there is a little crystal crow there i don't know what to do about the crystal crows do i do them now i can't do them now because i need to plan and research where they all are um, you know what? It's fine. We'll worry about those another time. Okay. Ah, one secret that I did forget to do. You need to leave this on, I believe, it's a human. So, two legs, two arms, one head, and two eyes. Now, if we do that, we can actually get another upgrade. So, if we go back to the crypt, uh, down here. And then, yes, the stone coffin will be accessible to us. The lid looks very heavy. Well, we're gonna, uh, maybe I shouldn't. Oh, but you should, Mara. There's a body. A beautiful woman. She can't possibly be real. Look closer. It's an incredibly realistic wax figure. I should leave it alone. There's a drawer built into the coffin. Oh. Uh, so, Ophella Pike. Atlanta Westview Hospital. Nurse ID. There's an ID card in here. First aid book. 
First Aid Handbook, 1987. There's some good information in here. I should be able to put it to good use. So, that actually upgrades our medkit, which is not too shabby, if you ask me. Right, so that's that. Now, we should probably go drop a save, to be honest. Oh, hello, I forgot about him. <laughs> Little baby bastard standing right outside the cell. Maybe we should go deal with him. A little bit of justice. Now, we are actually on 20 minutes here, so I'm going to go save the game. Now, the reason for this is I decided to do larger videos um, for the first set of this LP for the first week. And that stiffed me over pretty badly because I have struggled, and I mean struggled, to upload these videos because... <sighs> Maybe it's the settings that I use, but usually when I upload a video, it's about 3 gigs. Uh, these videos were coming out at 10 and 12 gigs. So, in the time it would take me to upload a week's worth of videos, uh, I've uploaded one. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we're going to go back to 20 minutes, guys. Uh, until the day where I have fiber internet. It's the way it's going to be, I'm afraid. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.